Julie, do you like him? I don't know. Did you like it when he talked to you today? When he put you on the carousel that way? Did you like that? I'd rather not say. You're a queer one, Julie Jordan. You were quieter and deeper than a well. And you never tell me nothing. There's nothing that I care to choose to tell. You've been acting most peculiar. Every morning you're awake ahead of me. Always sitting by the window. I like to watch the river meet the sea. When we work in the mill, we've been at the loom. You gaze absent-minded at the roof. And half the time your short hole gets twisted in the thread till you can't tell the walk from the roof. Taint so. You're a queer one, Julie Jordan. You will never tell a body what you think. You're as tight-lipped as an oyster and as silent as a whole Sahara Sphinx. Sphinx. Huh? Sphinx. Uh-uh, think. You spell it with an X. That's only when there's more than one. Oh. Julie, I've been busting to tell you something lately. You have? The reason I didn't tell you before was because you didn't have a fella of your own. But now that you got one, I can tell you about mine. I'm glad you got a fella, Carrie. What's his name? His name is Mr. Snow. And an upstanding man is he. He comes home every night in his round bottom boat with a net full of herring from the sea. An almost perfect bow, as refined as a girl could wish. But he spends so much time in his round bottom boat that he can't seem to lose the smell of fish. First time he kissed me, a whiff of his clothes knocked me flat on the floor of the room. But now that I love him, my heart's in my nose, and fish is my favorite pet Last night he spoke quite low, and a fair-spoken man is he. And he said, Miss Pipperidge, I'd like it fine. I could be wed with a wife And indeed, Miss Pipperidge, if you'll be mine I'll be yours for the rest of my life Next moment we were promised And now my mind's in a maze For all I can do is look forward to That wonderful day of day
my golden chances pass me Little 
horse and I sail a little boat and the fish I catch I sell. And in a manner of speaking, I'm doing very well. I love a little girl and she's in love with me and soon she'll be my bride. And in a manner of speaking, I should be satisfied. Well, ain't you? If I told you my plans and the things I intend, it'd make every curl on your head stand on end. When I make enough money out of one little boat, I'll put all my money in another little boat. I'll make twice as much out of two little boats. And the first thing you'll know, I'll have four little boats, and eight little boats, then a fleet of little boats, and a great big fleet of great big boats. All catching heron, bringing it to shore, sailing out again, and bringing in more and more and more and more. Who's gonna eat all that herring? They ain't gonna be herring. And I put them in cans and call them sardines. And I build a little sardine cannery, then a big one, then the biggest one in the country. Carrie, I'm gonna get rich on sardines. I mean, we're gonna get rich. You and me and all of us. The first year we're married, we'll have one little kid. The second year we'll go and have another little kid. You'll soon be donning socks for eight little feet. Are you building up to another fleet? We'll build a lot more rooms. Our dear little house will get bigger. Our dear little house will get bigger. And so will my baby. Carrie, can you imagine how it'll be when all the kids are upstairs in bed and you and me, we sit alone in the firelight, me in my armchair, you on my knee, maybe. Maybe. When the children are asleep, we'll sit and dream the things that every other dad and mother dream. When the children are asleep and lights are low, if I still love you the way I love you today, you'll pardon by saying I told you so. When the children are asleep, I'll dream with you. We'll think what fun we have had and be glad that it all came true. When children are awake, or romping through the rooms and running on the stairs, then in a manner of Speaking, the house is really there. But once they close their eyes and we are left alone and free from all the faults, then in a manner of speaking, we can be really us. When the children are asleep, we'll the things that every other dad and mother dreams that won't be interrupted when the children are asleep and lights are low. Oh, and behold, if I still love you the way I love you today, you pardon my saying. Oh, 
I wonder what he'll think of me. I guess he'll call me the old man. I guess he'll think I can lick every other fellow's father. Well, I can. I bet that he'll turn out to be the spitting image of his dad. But he'll have more common sense than his puddin-headed father ever had. I'll teach him to wrestle and dive through a wave when we go in the mornings for a swim. His mother can teach him the way to behave, but she won't make a sissy out of him. Not him, not my boy, not him. Bill. My boy Bill, I will see that he's named after me. I will. My boy Bill, he'll be tall and as tough as a tree. Well, Bill, like a tree, he'll grow with his head held high and his feet planted firm on the ground. And you won't see nobody dare to try to boss him or toss him around. No pot belly baggy eyed bully will boss him around. I don't give a damn what he does, as long as he does what he likes. He can sit on his tail or work on a rail with a hammer, a hammer and spike. He can ferry a boat on a river or pedal a pack on his back or work up and down the streets of the town with a whip and a horse and a hack. He can haul a scow along a canal, run a cow around a corral or maybe bark for a carousel. Of course, it takes talent to do that well. He might be a champ of the heavyweights, or a fellow that sells your glue, or president of the United States, that'd be all right, too. His mother would like that, but he wouldn't be president unless he wanted to be. Not Bill. My boy Bill, he'll be tall and as tough as a tree. Well, Bill, like a tree, he'll grow with his head held high and his feet planted firm on the ground. And you won't see nobody dare to try to boss him or toss him around. No fat bottom, flabby face, pot belly, baggy eyed bully will boss him around. And I'm damned if he'll marry his boss's daughter, skinny-lipped virgin with blood like water, who give him a peck and call it a kiss, and look in his eyes through a lorgnette. Say, why am I taking on like this? My kid ain't even been born yet. I can see him when he's seventeen or so, and starting in to go with a girl. I can give him lots of pointers very sound on the way to get round any girl. I can tell him, wait a minute, could it be? What the hell? What if, what if he is a girl? What would I do with her? What could I do for her? A bum with no money. You can have fun with a son, but you gotta be a father to a girl. She mightn't be so bad at that. A kid with ribbons. In her hair, a kind of neat and petite little tin type of her mother. What a pain! My little girl, pink and white as peaches and cream is a sheep. Again is bright 
As girls are meant to be Dozens of boys pursue her Many a likely lad Does what he can to From her faithful dad She has a few Pink and white young fellas up to And the three But my little girl Gets hungry every night And the she comes home to me I gotta get ready before she comes I gotta make certain that she Won't be dragged up in slums With a lot of bums like me She's gotta be sheltered and fed And dressed in the best of that money can avoid I never knew how to get money But I'll try, by God, I'll try I'll go out and make it Or steal it Or take it Or go Oh. 
I never see it yet to fail. I never see it fail. A girl who's in love with a virtuous man is doomed to weep and wail. So cut it, cut it on stone. Mother used to say to me, when you grow up, my son, I hope you're a bum like your father was, cause a good man ain't no fun. So count it, count it on stone, wood, take it, take it on wood, there's nothing so bad for a woman as the man who thinks he's good. Ain't so, tis too, ain't so, tis too.
Sweet.